So what is up guys, you guys your boy Jet Stinger here today and today today we're back with a new game on the channel Reverse 1999 Yes, this game just came out today and I wanted to kind of just talk about it That's really just all I really wanted to do because well Quite frankly, I'm loving this game so far. I uh, obviously it just came out less than 24 hours ago And I was a big skeptical about trying Reverse 1999 because, you know, all these new gotchas that come out and you, you you play them for one minute and you're like, ah, oh, this is such a cool game. And then you burn out fairly fast or you just lose interest. I mean, some games you do keep because you do generally like playing the game. But Worst Lecture 9 is a little bit different for me because it's a story-driven gotcha game. And I do love games for their story. Like, I mean, I'm a sucker for a guy with a good story. And so far, what I've been seeing within Reverse Lecture 9, the story is actually pretty good so far. And it's really good that it grabbed me in so early because I would hate to go into like, oh man, I have to get to a chapter like, uh, you know, X, Y, Z to really get a good story. But yeah, I, I just wanted to kind of make this video to say that this game has really surprised me. Now, what is the point of this video? Well, the point of this video is very much simple. It's just to kind of introduce myself to the game as one of, you know, the people that are playing the game, one of the several hundreds of thousands of people playing the game literally day one and just kind of talk about some of the things i like about reverse 1999 and just kind of do some gameplay in the background we'll be doing some live gameplay of just one of the little modes it's doing just to collect some of the pullable resources i might do a single pull just so you guys can kind of see the animation would be kind of funny if we get a six star from that animation but it, it's very unlikely off a single but i'm going to talk about my plans for reverse 99 when it comes to content because well i mean Granted, if this game keeps me in as much as it has, I might just start doing the same things I do if you familiarize yourself by, with my Aether Gazer content, then I might just do the same thing. I might just do the same. I might do overviews, I might do guides, I might do stuff, but of course that is going to require me a little bit of time to learn the game first. I am very much still in noob territory, which I'm sure a lot of us are, because again, the game just came out less than 24 hours ago. So, <laughs> like, yeah, like, it's not, it's not really all that, you know what I mean? But anyway... Let's go ahead and let's get started and let's talk about the game itself. So Reverse 1999 is a story driven gacha game. So it really wants you to pay attention to a lot of the key things that are going on with the story. As you can see I'm at chapter 4 already and I'm at 202 out of 210 stars. I'm missing a few stars. I have to go back and complete the stages or do some of the hard mode stages to get the uh, awards here. But basically every two stage every stages you can get up to two stars of victory and every single time you go to a certain point you can get some extra you can get some extra stars you can get extra awards and yeah so it's a really good extra way just to really get a lot of resources you can really rack up a lot of pulls doing this but we're gonna be going to this mode right here this is the mode i actually like the most it's actually pretty fun it's a little story driven mode itself uh, it allows you to get these little materials for and lyrics and stuff but anyway but yeah, the story in this game is something you really, really ought to pay attention to, because it's just something it's just something that you really, really want to like just be a part of in it in its experience. So, but um, yeah, but for the most part, uh, what I've been doing in this game so far is, of course, just kind of reeling in the story. That that's again the biggest part is reel in the story, because again, it's good. I've had heard, I've seen some conversation about the voice acting in the game, whether or not it's good or bad. For what Reverse 1999 is as an indie company, because I don't think this is like backed by any big like company like Kuro Games or you know like Hoyoverse or any one of those big gotcha companies. For what it's worth, it's okay. Like for example, I love Eternity's voice. Like this character right here, Eternity. I lo I love Eternity. I, I love her. But uh, this team is not good for me. <laughs> this is not a good team for me. But we are kind of pretty much overpowered for this stage. So we shouldn't have too much of an issue. We shouldn't have too much of an issue here. But yeah. So let's go and talk about the combat. The combat is very simple. If you're familiar with a game like Seven Deadly Sins. Or uh, another game like uh, like that uses card systems. And basically. Uh, that's a part of this. That's a part of this event, by the way. But normally, it's just these three things right here, and then you have a sub character right here in the back. And basically, you just match up the cards, and then the more stacks you get, the stronger the attack is. Certain attacks have different values based off the stack amount. So if you get like a plus two, then it might have an additional effect. 
But really, that's just the kind of the cool concept about the art, uh, about the gameplay. Another cool thing is this little thing right here, the first melody, which you can um, use to generate certain effects, such, such as you can generate uh, different cards for yourself. You can add a little thing here that you can fuse to make a level two if you need to. That way you can get a level two without having to use one of your move uh, effects, which is a thing. So that's why I kind of like it. But anyway, we can go try to take out this plant guy because we do have a uh, beast here. That is the strong word that is a strong element uh, for um, this guy so let's go ahead and take him out let's just attack into him a couple times let's do a little AOE here I love the animations by the way as you as you assume see like the the animations are pretty good okay do some damage And I think I think you can take him out here. If not, we'll just do another AOE and what is that? Oh he taunted, that's right, never mind. Here we go. We got a got a couple combines there. We do have uh, Eternity's ult. Eternity's ult hit, hits so hard. I love her ult. Okay. It's a five. Ooh, we get Moxie plus two value. Nice. Hmm. Do I want to generate one now? Nah, because we want to do alt. We'll do this. And we can do a small heal. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Okay. We almost took out one of them. We took out the, uh, the other one, but we took out a different one. Okay, so he's taunting. Eternity is weak against this boss, so that's a problem. Lily is fine. She's, in, I think she's in neutral. I think the plant guy can, I think, deal uh, bigger damage to Lilia. Hmm. We could try to get his ult going. Let me see. See if we can generate anything. Hmm. I mean, we did get it we did get a level two heal which is that's helpful so we'll do this actually hmm, can we we can we'll do this so there it goes the versatile card you can use it to link off anything that's matching its rarity so one star for one star and yeah uh let's Get a second one of these. Let's do this, this, and that. We'll save the heal for a little bit later. We don't need it right now. There we go. So we have his ult now, which is good. Hey, to my, hey, to my, uh, hey, to my healer is so squishy. Ah, he lost his ult. Unfortunate. That is so unfortunate. We can get a double link here. So heal and let's just start focusing on the boss here. Okay. And we get the follow up. Nice. So Lily has her ult now. Which that's assuming if she doesn't lose that ult. They don't like take it away from her. Which they don't. And it gave her rousing morale. Nice. This is gonna make her hit a little harder, I think. I believe. Uh, we can do Lilia ult because actually, no, that's a waste. That's that's such a waste. We could just do this. We could do Lilia on someone else, and yeah. Yep. Takes care of him.
Nice, got rid of him. Roxy plus two, nice. He's not attacking, so. Uh, do we want to generate another one so we can get that plus two on the beam? I think that's what I want to do. We take this one, drag this one over here. The cool thing about generating these type of cards is that it doesn't take a move action, which is really good. Let's just attack. We we don't and we could just do like a small heal, get that combine off. Nasty wound. Mm-hmm. It's funny because even if I even if I play it play it safe, I have been in situations where it has gone completely down, like down bad. Like that's the funny part. It's like I've, I've I've been in situations like, oh yeah, I should be fine. I should totally win, and then I end up dying. And I'm just like, well, okay, <laughs> okay. But yeah, that's kind of a demonstration of the gameplay. It's pretty much similar to Seven Deadly Sins. If you're familiar with that type of game, then you're kind of just good. Like you you kind of understand the whole concept of combining your cards. To making better cards to making better things here so anyway let's go ahead and show you guys the summoning animation uh for me honestly i don't need to summon anything else in this game because i kind of got everything i needed so on the starter banner for all new players that sign into this game it's a banner at the top here that can guarantee you either regulus lilia or eternity and in my 30 pools i did get eternity that was what i wanted the most i didn't even re-roll for her which was amazing and I did do some pulls on the standard banner. My first multi got me a Lilia, which was great. And then I did some more pulls, which I think is record. As you can see right there, I got a Centurion. Now, Centurion is, quite frankly, one of the best units in the game. So that's really, really good. So my account's looking very strong. I will show you guys my roster later on. But I'm just going to do a summoning animation just so you guys can kind of see it. So anyway, there we go. It's just the standard generic uh, animation. I think that's a four-star. Yes, yeah, just a four-star. So, or a three star even. So, there we go. But that's just the summoning animation. I didn't mind wasting that because, again, it's just, just for the video, guys. It's just for you guys. But typically, I do that. Just, I always do that whenever I do a new game because I, try, I typically like to show off the summoning animation. But anyway, let's go, and go over to my account really quick. Let's check out my crew. But this is what I'm working with right now. Eternity, Lydia are my main DPSs. Uh, I'm going to be working on Centurion soon. Um, Dick, uh, DK is my healer because I, I don't have too much of an option here. <laughs> Sano is my good backup unit. She's a really good backup unit. It's actually just to get stuff for her for free. Um, I think units I want to work on, I'm going to be working on Charlie because she is a pretty good five star. Uh, obviously Centurion is going to be very good. Uh, I think I might want to work on X because I've gotten a few dupes of him as well. So I might, I might uh, actually consider it. I don't know how good he is. I gotta look into his kit, but uh, but yeah, that's generally what my account's looking at right now. It's just nothing really too crazy for a day one because I haven't done too much in the game besides do just a bit of pulling. I think after, um, well now rather, I think I'm just gonna save up currency for new banners. I think the banner I may wanna pull on is the Voyager banner. I may wanna pull on that and that might be a good time to make a video for that, but yeah. But anyway, that's just it. Uh, it's a pretty good game, honestly. I'm 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 really surprised. So if you guys are really into this game, hey, feel free to leave a comment. Let me know if you're playing uh, Reverse 1999. Let me know if you're playing this game. If you want, uh, here is my friend code. Uh, if you want to shoot me a friend request, by all means, feel free. And I'll probably add, I'll add some people for sure because I definitely want to play with more people. I want to talk with more people about this game. And yeah, so I'll see you guys next time. Peace.